Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing with you guys a splurge purchase that I recently did. I've had this item for a couple of days now and I've tried it on and I'm still debating on whether I want to keep it or not. My item is the beautiful Belfern leather jacket from All Saints in the blush color. I didn't get the black or the vintage black because I have a lot of black leather jackets and this one was on sale. So I thought it was a great time to try out an All Saints jacket. I had never purchased from All Saints before, probably because I did so much research. Probably because I did so much research because I've been wanting to buy an All Saints jacket for so long and I've heard so much great things. All the reviews rave about how awesome this leather jacket is. I had really, really, really like unreasonably maybe even high expectations uh, uh, for the jacket. So when it came in, and I tried it on, I thought it was a little bit boxy, um, even though it's supposed to be a slim fitting kind of jacket. I thought it was a little long because um, it looked like it would be shorter or more cropped on the model and on other like people that I've um, seen it on. It looked like it was shorter. Maybe it's just cause I'm short. I don't know, but I've seen it on petite women too. So I love this color and that's the primary reason why I got it as well as getting an All Saints leather jacket. So the leather is very soft, very supple. As you can see, it's very malleable. The color is a really neutral, rosy pink with, um, you know, nude undertones. I don't think it's very pink pink. You can tell that it's pink, but it also looks very nude. So I think that's perfect for this time of the year. It'll go really well with a lot of things, especially since I wear a lot of like t-shirts and denim. I think that's perfect for just adding a little bit of color. So I love the color, I love the leather feel. Um, some things that I don't like about it is, um, first, the black trim for the zip, zipper detailing. It really um, makes it a little more masculine. I don't know if I would've liked it better if they like blended in, but I just noticed that it pops out more, so the contrast is quite strong. I don't like that the belt is attached in the back. Um, just because I like to have the option of removing the belt if I wanted to. I understand the purpose of um, attaching the belt such as this, but I still would like um, to have a detachable one. And that's just all personal preference. My biggest issue, again, like I mentioned, was the fit. It's not as expected, but it's not terrible. Um, I just wish it was a little more slim fitting, especially in the arms. So. That is the main reason why I'm debating whether I want to keep it or not, and also because I don't know if I would have preferred a slightly a smaller size. This is in the US 2. I don't know if I would have liked the US 0. I've read that um, some people size down, some people size up, some people just keep the same size. I'm just afraid that this will stretch out and be too big on me later on. I already think it looks boxy, so I definitely don't want it to be any bigger than it is. However, the shoulders um, fit quite well. I just don't want it to box out later on, so I'm, I'm wondering if a size US 0 would be a better fit overall. So anyways, I will insert a clip of me trying it on um, for you guys to see how it looks like on my body. I am 5'2 and about 110 pounds, um, pretty slim overall with not a lot of like curves going on, so take that as you will and compare it to how it fits. Okay, so here is the jacket on. Um, I feel like the coloring is just so hard to capture. Here it looks a little more nude and in the video I was just watching, it looks a little bit more pink. Just trying it on in this mirror here, it doesn't look so big, it doesn't look so bad. These sleeves look a little bit wider than I would like. They're not as slimming as I would um, prefer. And they are a little bit on the short side and I don't think I have long arms especially because i'm really petite um, but i do like the shorter look of things the jacket itself is a bit longer than expected i think um so it hits me in my hip area or a little bit above my hip area but i don't know i thought it would be slightly more cropped but yeah overall the look i guess isn't as bad as i thought it would be or i thought it was or remembered it being after um all those times that i've tried it on um, and the leather feels really nice surprisingly a very lightweight jacket but yeah still debating i really want to keep it because the leather is great the coloring is beautiful and the price was right I mean, I think I got a Topshop leather jacket for like a similar price, so um, I don't think 
it's like asking too much to get an all sleeves jacket for that price point. But again, my fit questions and issues um, do leave me wondering if I will regret it in the future. And also, I forgot if I mentioned, but there is a little bit of scratches here that's really visible. And I don't know if that says much about the quality of the jack, uh, the leather. Not that it's bad, but because the leather is so soft and supple, I don't know if it's really prone to getting scratches and damages. And then how long will this last me? How much wear will I get? How careful do I have to be with this jacket? I've heard people talk about their black ones um, and it's lasted them so long. They've worn it so many times and it's still in great condition and as great as when they first bought it. But this one already has some visible um, scratches here, so um, that is a little bit concerning as well to me. So there you have it, my latest um, splurge. I really do like it overall. There's just a little bit of issues here and there um, that leaves me a little uncertain. And to be spending a lot of money on a jacket, to be having some certainties, or uncertainties, I'm sorry, um, leaves me unsure as to, you know, do I want to do that or do I not? Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video and would like to um, be connected with me to see more fashion-related videos, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And thank you so much for being here today. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, because when I was doing research, I didn't get a lot of videos, so I hope to help you out. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!